Last time, we were bucking out the window openings in a double wall house. While we were at it, we cut holes where the windows go. Now that the openings are open, we can get ready to flash them, beginning with a sloped sill. And because we're going to flash and film four windows today, Ben cuts them all at once, and then installs each one too. Rather than using tape to flash this window, he's going to demonstrate how to do it with liquid flashing. He gathers his little kit and walks us through the process and his thinking. He uses painter's tape to mask the inner edge inside the actual window frame. So uh, previously worked out where our window locations are in this wall. It's, they're kind of an any window. They're set in about three inches into the opening. So uh, worked out where I want my uh, waterproofing to come to. So right now I'm just giving myself some marks to mask off the opening. Uh, it's not totally necessary to mask off your opening, but I tend to be a little bit OCD. I like the look of a nice clean line. Um, doesn't make it perform any better, but when the homeowner sees it and other contractors see it, they see that you're giving a level of care to your installation. And it'll drive other subs on the job to follow suit as well as give the uh, homeowner and client confidence that they're really getting a nice install. So. He uses painter's tape to mask the inner edge inside the actual window frame. Waterproofing inside of the interior window line a little ways. Um, Cause then it gives me a place when I either foam or tape the interior of my windows. Um, I know that if there's any water ever to travel back in behind the face of the window, it's still gonna be protected until it hits foam or tape. Before masking off the outer perimeter, he makes sure the sheathing is as tight as possible to the framing, running nails around the perimeter and whacking them all home with his hammer. He masks off the outside and cuts the existing flashing tape out of the way because it just introduces topography that's not needed and will not make it easier to get a tight seal. Now we're ready to break open some tubes. Ben begins at the weak spots, the corners and seams. To cover the sill, he tries out a duckbill nozzle for the sausage tube, which seems to work fine. After a little while, you get a feel for how much you need to apply in order to spread it to the correct thickness. Inevitably, you'll have a reserve pile on the next surface in front of you that hasn't been sealed yet. This stuff is also very forgiving. You can lay it right down onto cold, wet substrates and it'll stick to them. So not like tapes if you're trying to flash pans first thing in the morning and it's wet or you got dew, you gotta wait for that to dry off with tape. This stuff, as long as you just clear the standing bulk water off of it, you're good to go. Once it's spread out, he smooths over the edges and looks for weak spots. So I'm shooting for a minimum of 12 mils. And I just hit, I've got material showing on my 12 mil line, and that means I'm at my minimum thickness. So install thickness, they want between 12 and 15 mils, so. Work your way up and down the sides and across the top of the opening. Then you can finish up on the outer surface of the wall sheet. 
Out here, he adds a dab every couple of inches to spread the even surface. Again, the first step is about spreading the membrane over the entire surface around the window opening. The other big benefits of the liquid flashing product is that uh, you don't have any lap situations. So if we were trying to do this whole uh, rough opening perimeter in tape, we'd end up with uh, areas where we have three layers thick and then a number of edges and folds. And um, In theory, those should be impermeable, but um, if the tape was to be improperly installed, um, which would then funnel water right into our enclosure. So with the liquid product, it becomes a monolithic uh, barrier. And you don't have any concerns over that happening. The next step is about a smooth, consistent surface. After I get uh, the inside of the opening done and my outside perimeter done, I want to pay uh, close attention to making sure that my corners are good. Just kind of go along because that's the easiest place for it to get too thin. And when he calls it good, the tape comes off right away. And that's pretty much all there is to it, except to wait for it to dry. <laughs> 